All right, hacksters, today we are digging into the new KR260 robotic starter kit from AMD Xilinx, a sibling to the KV260 Vision AI kit that we unboxed before. Check out the link in the description below for that one. The KR260 is tuned for robotics, my favorite subject, but it's more than capable for smart factories, industrial communications and workloads, and state-of-the-art machine vision with add-on AI capabilities. This is supported by an upcoming accelerated application targeting ROS2, which you can find in the App Store for Kriya Songs. We'll take a look later. It also works with Vitus AI, which makes it easy for AI developers to take advantage of the AMD Xilinx stack. Let's get it open. Here's our kit box with some helpful accessories. A barrel jack power adapter with five international attachments, plus an ethernet cable, a micro USB cable, and a micro SD card in its own little niche. Inside our box, there's an info sheet and the KR260 board nestled in protective foam. There's also some essential stickers. On the board itself, we have the Kriya K26 system on module with its fan sync, a micro SD card slot, DC power jack, display port jack, four USB ports, and four ethernet ports. Raspberry Pi nerds will appreciate the familiar 40 pin header where you can connect Pi hats, Plus, there are four PMOD connectors along the top. There's a JTAG debug port, and this cage here is the SFP Plus Optics connection for 10 gig eVision. There's also a micro USB port to connect to your PC, and we also have this helpful bank of status LEDs. And finally, there's a high tech camera connector, the SLVS EC High Performance Vision RX connector. There's an accelerated application for this in the Korea App Store, which we'll take a look at later. Time to fire this up! Okay, to begin with, we need to flash the micro SD card with a special version of Ubuntu designed for both Kriya starter kits. Download it from the link in the Getting Started, and use Bolina Etcher or another application to burn this image to the card. Next, we'll do the physical setup. Insert the micro SD card you just burned, connect the micro USB cable only to the starter kit, and set up your keyboard and mouse, monitor, and ethernet cable. Also, connect the barrel jack power supply, but don't plug it in just yet. At this point, you can also plug in a webcam if you like. There we go. You can boot your starter kit and log in in two different ways, over serial or using the GNOME desktop. We're going to try the desktop since we'll want to play with some ROS applications. Take your time and check the getting started if you run into anything unexpected. We'll start by plugging in that power supply. Watch for the power LEDs to illuminate and wait for signs of life. That is, a login screen on the display. Enter Ubuntu, all lowercase, for both the username and the password, which you'll need to change either immediately or the next time you boot up. We're going to check for internet access using ping. We need Signal to download the materials for these demo applications. Next up is the development and demonstration environment. Run these commands to install everything necessary for system management and GStreamer, an open source multimedia framework. I'm looking forward to setting this all up with the ROS2 Perception Node application. Click through to check out that accelerated application, which provides two hardware accelerated nodes to assist in image tracing and benchmarking. There are lots more accelerated apps for the KR260 in the Korea App Store. These accelerated apps aren't just demos. They're optimized for easy deployment anywhere and deliver out-of-the-box speed and performance to accelerate your development cycle from day one. Check out these other demo applications that you can use as a base to build your own product. Everything you need to learn is already online, with videos, white papers, and other content in English, German, Korean, Chinese, and Japanese. Remember that this SOM is production ready and can go all the way into a finished product. But if you wish that there were just one different feature for your use case, get in touch. Xilinx can also match you with partners to get the perfect fit. This version of the kit will run you about $350, which makes it a great option for people who are familiar with hobbyist options, but are ready to level up and go pro. To those people, hack on. <laughs>